Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokeyami here with another Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Wi-Fi battle. Very much enjoying these randomly generated teams. Uh, whoa, a lot of honking outside, but win or lose, I have so much fun uh, being at a disadvantage almost every single time. Um, again, it's just it's so fun for me, but I hope you guys are enjoying. Of course, if you are, you can check out the other Wi-Fi battles in the playlist down below. Let's see what we're using today. Okay. Um, Arcanine, Vaporeon, Moltres, Butterfree, Polyrath, and Hypno. We actually used Vaporeon yesterday. Well, yesterday for you guys, but for me it was like 10 days ago because I just got back from vacation. Uh, so as I mentioned, this next one's probably going to be a little bit shorter as well. But then starting tomorrow, which will be Friday, uh, I'll be definitely working on just getting two to three battles per video. But anyway, thank you so much for bearing with me. Let's get right into the battle. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So we have a game, and uh, okay. So biggest threats for sure. Well, actually, you have a lot of threats, but I like the buzz. Low key is a problem. Uh, not even low key. Dragonite, obviously. Uh, Doug Show gets up rocks versus me too. Hmm. This is gonna be a tough game. Like period. This is gonna be tough. I think I go the uh, the. I'm gonna have to depend on my Moltres burning a lot. But I think I go the Arcanine route. Like, I would say Polyrath is actually a fantastic... You know what? Looking back at it, Polyrath is actually a better lead. Because if my opponent leads off with their Dragonite or their Dug Trio, I'm just in such a bad position. Hmm. If that's actually the case, maybe Vaporeon. Vaporeon matches up well versus a lot and can spam Scald. I like that. I like that. And if he leads off with Electabuzz, it doesn't actually knock me out in one hit. Which is very, very, very important. And my Hydro Pump is going to hurt. But yeah, hopefully Vaporeon can do it for me. Like, I'm, I'm definitely... Uh, I definitely know that Vaporeon is going to be good in this. And they do lead off a Dug Trail, which is incredible. Because, honestly, its speed tier is really good for Sumi. Yes, it does get up rocks which cripples half my team but more importantly it's earthquake and rock slide is very 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 problematic so i could see my opponent throwing away their dug trio just to get up stealth rock again because it does really well versus my team but i think in the long run of things that was not the best play because dug trio could come in after arcanine gets a ko earthquake it could, it could rock slide moltres and rock slide butterfree like i do not switch it to this pokemon so that's actually why i let off with vaporeon or, you know, Vaporeon or Polyrath were my two choices because I was very worried about that Pokemon. Now, I can actually afford to play uh, some of these guys a little bit differently now. Chansey comes out, I'm assuming a Toxic might come out here. I don't think Butterfree does anything this game. But I might as well get a little bit of chip off on Chansey. At least in terms of damage. Uh, like Bug Buzz. Because I'm assuming, like I said, Toxic, maybe a Thunder Wave, maybe a Seismic Toss. They do throw off a Toxic, yep. I'm not as worried about Chansey, uh, Arcanine and Polyrath both deal with it, but I'm not going to go directly in on Chansey because I want to make sure I have enough switches. And by that I mean, if I bring this Pokemon in too much, or if I bring Polyrath in too much, I'll eventually get Poison, I'll eventually get Seismic Toss, and it'll do some damage. So we'll just Bug Buzz for a little bit. Chansey is running uh, Toxic Protect, that's a fair set. I'm assuming its other two moves are Soft Boiled and Seismic Toss. Uh, neither of which I really mind. In fact, the damage doesn't even matter here on Chansey because it's, it's not going to do anything. I'll just Psychic just because it hits, uh, it hits Gyarados as well as Magmar for a little bit more. It's for just a little bit more. Yeah, and we get a Spadoff Drop, which is really nice. Maybe for Vaporeon. As they throw off a Shadow Ball. Ooh, okay, so I guess they have Shadow Ball because they don't want to be walled by Gengar. Which makes sense. I'm on 1 HP. I'm going to be a little bit aggressive here and go out into Arcanine. Now the reason I'm making this play is because my opponent should just protect. I don't think they lose anything by that. And I can save Butterfree as a switch in, into Gyarados, as a, as a sack for Gyarados. So let's see how this works. He does Soft Boiled. Um, that's fine too. Soft Boiled, Toxic, Protect, and Shadow Ball. Okay, cool. I'm definitely leaning towards just clicking Will-O-Wisp here as opposed to Sewer Power. I don't think you should sack your Chansey, and I think one of your two switch-ins will be either Gyarados or Dragonite. Uh, so if I get to burn on those physical attackers, it'll be a lot better for me. Yeah, does end up going, uh, or does make, uh, end up making the Gyarados play. 
And we do manage to connect too, so not only do we get that residual damage, but we have its attack because of burn. Nice. Giant threat just neutralized. Fantastic. Hmm. I'm debating clicking play rough here. Because you should mega. And I don't want to go polyrath because I want to keep polyrath as healthy as possible for the uh, for the Dragonite. So I'm actually going to play rough here. Assuming my opponent's going to mega, yeah. Because when they mega, they gain that dark typing and that means that player will be super effective. I will be able to take a waterfall because of the burn. And I play rough first over super powering because first off, I wasn't 100% sure on damage. And secondly, you know, if I got the drop... Oh, I got the attack drop too on Gyarados. Ooh, that's big. Arcanine is uh, for sure a good boy here. Nice. Uh, I don't want to play around with rolls. Like rolls, so I don't want it surviving on like a little bit. So I'll just throw off a superpower here because that's a guaranteed KO. It's stronger than play rough and we get rid of the Gyarados. Awesome. So I basically traded um, Butterfree and most of Arcanine for Gyarados and Ductrio. I guess... I because I don't consider Vaporeon being traded. And I definitely think that's great, like in terms of actually getting rid of my opponent's threats. Uh, for sure worth it. Now, Electabuzz can come out, and Electabuzz is definitely a problem. Uh, if he goes Dragonite, I'm 100% clicking will o here. Magmar comes out instead, which is fair too. Magmar definitely threatens me as well. Uh, this is where I was talking about where I sack the Butterfree. <laughs> I just sack you. And now, uh, unfortunately, because my team does not have rocks, I don't really deal that well with, uh, like, switches, multiple switches. If I did have rocks, that'd be fantastic. Uh, because Magmar, Dragonite, all these Pokemon would not be coming in for free. Psychic. I don't know if you have Thunder Punch or not, but I'm going to make the Vaporeon play. I'm going to make the Vaporeon play. Try to get off as much damage as possible. Uh, if I... See, I'm debating doubling, but... I don't want... Like, if my opponent goes Chansey, it's fine. Uh, maybe I'll get a burn as well. Like, Toxic is just annoying, but... I can't really do... I can't do much about it, right? In terms of, like... Punishing it, just because I, I don't have rocks up. I don't have anything that actually is immune to Toxic. That does a lot. Ooh, and I get the burn, which is really nice. So, uh, Chansey's gonna be... Nice and dealt with, to an extent. I'll keep Vaporeon healthy too. And just make the Moltres play. I'll make the Moltres play. Uh, maybe I'm like spreading myself a little bit too thin in terms of Pokemon I have to deal with my opponent's team, but uh, I want to keep Vaporeon still healthy because it will be able to live one hit from Electabuzz, assuming it's Thunderbolt and not Thunder Punch. And Moltres is still really, really, really threatening for my opponent too. I, I'm, I'm very much depending on Polyrath and I think Hypno in the late game. Hypno just because it tanks a hit from Electabuzz. But I'm depending on those a lot. I want to say... Assuming Arcanine lives rocks, Arcanine is going to be my play right now. I'll bring it in. Because if I'm my opponent, I definitely soft boiled there. I don't think I click Shadow Ball. If they do Shadow Ball, I mean, I get in Polyrath for free. But again, because I don't pivot in too well, I want to keep as many Death Fodders as possible. And he doubles out. Into what? Dragonite? Into Electabuzz. Ah, that's not what I wanted for sure. I could have just Fire Blasted there. Why'd you go Electabuzz? That really sucks for me. Because Electabuzz is a problem. Yeah. Electabuzz is a problem because that T-Bolt is problematic. It's very problematic. That Magmar is going to be a little bit of an issue too. Anyway, I bring up Vaporeon now. I click Hydro Pump. I think I have to. Uh, because I am a Vaporeon, I'm hoping that he's more enticed to stay in and click Thunderbolt on me. Like, I'm really hoping that he's more enticed to stay in and click Thunderbolt on me because I, I will survive it. Vaporeon has very good natural bulk. Yep. Land. Now this is modest, I don't know the actual damage counts versus Electabuzz. And it's not enough, ah. I'll keep Vaporeon alive because Moltres literally dies to rocks whereas Vaporeon does it. I know I'm switching a lot guys, but I'm, I'm trying my best to position myself in a way I don't automatically lose. 
Because it's looking like I'm going to lose to either Magmar or Dragonite at this point. I don't know why he switched directly into Electabuzz. Ah! I could have Fire Blasted there and got off damage. Which would have been good because Vaporeon would have been able to knock him out after. But we got to Hypno. And I guess we just click Psychic. Uh, at that percentage, Electabuzz should die, I suppose. I hope. I pray. Psychic. I'm gonna have to try and sack my Chansey on, or excuse me, my Vaporeon on Chansey and then try and bulk up. Good, he stayed in, that's very important. There we go, okay. So I'm gonna have to attempt to bulk up. Um, Dragonite is obviously, you know, one of the better plays they can make. I guess they could make the Magmar play too. Ideally my opponent... Ideally though my opponent goes Chansey. And they do go Dragonite. Which kind of sucks for me. Uh, I don't know if they're Agility immediately. I'm a Dazzling Gleam. As he goes right for Outrage. Okay, so I'm going there. I'm going to attempt to get a two-turn outrage for my opponent and see if I can bank on confusion. I think that's going to be... Like, if they hit themselves in confusion and I get the plus one, I think I win. So... Ah, they made the right play of going Dragonite first. That really sucks they win Electabuzz that one turn because I would have gotten the damage off. But let's see if we can bank on the, uh, the confusion hitting themselves too. And then Rocks Up obviously would make a difference too in terms of Magmar and things like that. So they do get um They do get the uh uh the what's it called? The three turn outrage here. So this is bad for my polyrath, obviously. Ice Punch doesn't KO them, I don't think. Wait, I'm faster? Hold up, this might not this might be Oh, I could have potentially won the game right there. I didn't really I didn't even realize I'd be faster. Why am I faster? Why am I faster? I could have bulked up. I don't think I would have won, but... I mean, maybe I'd be randomly faster than the Magmar, too. It's not like I need to bulk up at this point. Waterfall knocks him out. Oh, it's a speed tie. Okay. Why is it a speed tie? Ah! Close, but... Just not enough. So... In terms of doing things differently, I don't know what I could have done differently. Um, obviously rocks limited me, which is why rocks from Duck Show were great, right? But they also, they limited me. But, what could I have done? I had to switch. Like, otherwise, I'm bringing in Pokemon on, you know, Toxics and, and Recovers and stuff, too. Huh. Having rocks would have been really crucial. I did not expect to outspeed. I don't know why I outspeed Dragonite. I also don't know why that was a speed tie, because... Poly... <laughs> If I'm not mistaken, Polyrath is just naturally slower. Yeah, it's base 70. Why was I speed time with that Dragonite? Had I known, I would have I would have definitely bulked up. So basically, had they gotten a two-turn confusion, because I think that was my endgame there. Uh, had they went Chansey, but my play was to bulk up as they protected or, or choked, basically. And then that bulk up allowed me to take an Outrage plus a Psychic from Magmar. But uh, their reared speed Dragonite uh, still ended up doing it for them. It's still a good game. Hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, I guess today we didn't have what we needed. Too many Pokemon week to rock, but that's okay. That's all right. And no rocks for us, but hope you guys all enjoyed. Of course, if you did, you guys can check out the other Wi-Fi battles. There is a playlist down below. I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, my friends.